finally a Subaru with some balls. <laughs> 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 the most American Subaru. Yeah. Finally, make thank it an you. American. USA. I feel seen. Okay. USA. <laughs> USA. <laughs> Welcome to the love it or hate it section of love, hate, laughs. Are we in it? I don't know why he just froze it. Hey, welcome to Love It or Hate It. Thanks for coming back. We hope you enjoyed our episode uh, that came out just this last Wednesday where Nick talked about his hate of SUVs, car SUVs, and Eliza talked about her love of possums or yeah. opossums, if you will. Um, but we're excited. Uh, we're going to have a little fun here. Oh, not you guys... special victims unit. <laughs> special victims unit. SUV. SUV. SVU. Oh, SVU. Sorry. You said the car kind of SUV. What's the other kind of sub? Is there another? The other I think he meant the other SUV? kind of SUV. Like a truck based SUV. Uh, oh, yeah. okay. Sorry. I was just. The thing we just lost. talked about that now I know about. Welcome to love. <laughs> welcome to love <laughs> it or hate it. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> All right. Well, gonna well we're, we're going to dive into it. So, um, love it or hate it, it is the. Ugly SUV oh, edition. Are you guys ready for this? Yeah. We're going to look at some fugly ass ca- tr- uh, cars pretending to be trucks or whatever. <laughs> so let's check this out. This is uh, brought to you by a Motor Trend article I Googled um, on my lunch break today. Nice. So Thank you. The, the amount of research. Okay. Number one. <laughs> Did someone at your job, because you work in cars, you're like, they're like, are you Googling? <laughs> Like, yes. Are you reading no. about cars? Checking out the competition. <laughs> Actually, I would appreciate it if all these were about cars going forward because I work at a car dealership. So, <laughs> so then it doesn't look awkward. Like, uh, like uh, We're going to have to talk about my participation. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we're ready for the first one? Oh, yeah. yeah okay. Uh, and we're going to start uh, We're gonna start with Nick and then circle towards me. Um, so, Nick, uh, if you can describe what you are seeing on the screen here. It is the, uh, the Aztec, the Pontiac Aztec. Um, do you want me to read the... Sure, the, yeah, let's do okay, it. Okay, the Pontiac Aztec, to paraphrase Pulitzer-winning automotive writer Dan Neal, <laughs> the Mona Lisa of ugly SUVs. It's a design that is nearly perfect <laughs> in its atrocity. <laughs> wow. Lousy proportions, <laughs> awkward lines, and abominable details. From the misshapen headlights to the undersized wheels to the bizarre burrowing into the ground stance. <laughs> no SUV fails to please the eye quite as thoroughly as the Aztec. <laughs> People groaned when it rolled onto the floor at the 2000 Detroit Auto Show and they haven't stopped since. Damn, dude, did an Aztec Burn. kill this guy's dog? Like, no, it's just fuck? it's just notoriously like the ugliest car ever. It's, yeah. It's like and I I do hate this car. Ooh, okay. It's not it it's bad and it there was nothing good about it to redeem it. This I will say it had a couple little Easter eggs. I think it had like some camping features. Yes. yes. Like it came back, with a tent. Yeah, the back end, <laughs> you opened it up and it had like a thing you could attach as like a yeah. tent. It had some goofy features. And of course it was in Breaking Bad. That's mm. like its claim to fame are goofy features. And it was in Breaking Bad mm. and it was drove almost exclusively by like eccentric people. Very, very <laughs> That's much so. very I remember diplomatic. the people in Dylan that had... An Aztec were like, I think it was like an art professor at the college yeah, okay. um, with that like tracks. a coexist sticker, which yeah. is like good, but also in Dylan, like the type of person that's an art teacher with a coexist sticker yeah. is it, like a real wackadoodle. It yeah. Ha- yeah. <laughs> it has all the parts that you hate about a, a Prius. <laughs> like, yeah. All the worst styling <laughs> details of a Prius. Of a Prius. With none of the uh, redeeming factors like <laughs> quality and fuel economy. <laughs> um, it had an open fuel cap. Like, there's so many things on this. Oh, that's so stupid. <laughs> like, it's so, it's so stupid. It's just Why, a series of things. Can you imagine decisions. just like, like I, I feel like all the fuel, like fuel doors or whatever, like you, you they all have to be open from the inside now because mm-hmm. people steal gas and mm-hmm. that one's like, just roll on up. <laughs> that, yeah, that, it's um, got a little screw that you could take off, yeah. but like, Literally, but it's, it's uh, right it's there. It's open. Yeah. 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 Eliza, um, what are your thoughts? I hate it <laughs> because I don't like how it looks like its pants are falling down. <laughs> it's like it's sagging. Exactly. It's got a good yeah. sag going. Yeah, yeah, that's what they mean by the wheels too small. Yeah. And it does. It looks like it's all like, mm, I'm nice. Like, mm, like <laughs> I don't like its vibe. So hate it. Uh, okay. Correct me if I'm wrong. They only made this for one year. No, 2001 Four. to 2005. Okay, I I know they killed it like pretty quickly. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, four years is one year in General Motors years. Yeah, it's That's pretty right. quick. It's kind of like it's kind of like the the, the Subaru Baja for Pontiac, um, but the Baja is way better. Um, uh, oh, I love it! I love it. By the way, so great. <laughs> I was so excited when it showed up in in Breaking Bad, and then now these things are like worth a lot. Sure. Like they they go for a lot of money because of the the, the callback to to uh, kind of uh, because of Breaking because Bad because of I think. Breaking Bad specifically, but also because most of them sucked so much that they just got thrashed and thrown away. So and, anything that's a clean example now is like rare. Yeah, and and it's sort of like the thing if any if everyone hated it, eventually it kind of like goes around to like some hipsters just love driving this <laughs> yes. this ridiculous car this a hipster car if there ever was one. and yeah. i'm surprised there aren't more here actually. i'm not a, i'm not a hundred percent about this but uh i'm pretty sure that the big problem with this vehicle was too many designers putting their ideas in and they just kind of like it was like all these different designers designing different aspects of it and they just kind of like put it all together it was too many ideas and then they just like put it out and they just it was all these people that just thought they knew everything about car design and um they did not at all <laughs> but it is kind of a cross the first crossover suv <laughs> um yeah but love it love it paul oh i love it <laughs> um I, here's why I love it because I wanted one so bad. Maybe I have bad taste, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> but when this came out in 2000, it was the tenth thing hooked the me. Tent, I love the tenth. I forgot to say I love the tenth. I love the tenth like, thing, what? and I didn't even like camping. And <laughs> so this was I, the original overlanding. This yes. was the original overlanding <laughs> thing, and it was like a tent in the on the back entrance, which so appealed cool. to me for some reason. Um, <laughs> I but <bet> it did. <laughs> <laughs> it was just for me. I was like, oh, it's quirky. It's cool. Uh, and I like the colors that they did on it too. There was like orange and like a green. Yeah, they did like funky colors, and it was the early two thousands. They like, did do fun colors. They I did like fun colors. They did like bright fun. And it looks things. like a dip cone or something. Like it's dipped yeah. in plastic. Oh, it was very <laughs> cartoony. Yeah, yeah. And it was like two thousand. Like things were just like we were just happy a... we survived Y two K. So yeah, like it was a I, different time. it was a different time. I mean, look of fashion back then too. It was just it was just a crazy time. So um, I. I wish they would have improved it, right? There was there like was what's like, the new gen? I, it was like what would have if they stuck with it? What would that generate? I bet you it would the be the modern a, Aztec might actually the, look cool. The modern Aztec, I bet, would it's be got bad the same ass. shape as the Urus. <laughs> yeah, it has a built-in rooftop tent. That I think vaguely it's <laughs> I think they were ahead of their time, and I think that they should have uh, kept with it. But that's just my thoughts. So I love it. All right, we ready for the next one? Oh yeah, starting with Eliza. Okay. The Glen Frome Facet. What the fuck is that? <laughs> so I'll, if you want to explain what you're... You might want to explain <laughs> what it looks um, like. In re- <laughs> uh, let me just read it. I can't it's even... It's like a gremlin yeah. with a lift kit. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does look like a gremlin lift kit. <laughs> so what boggles the mind more than the sheer atrocity of the Glen Frome Facet is the question of why. <laughs> why would anyone take a perfectly good Range Rover? Yes, believe it or not, that was a starting what? point for this assault on your optic nerves and turn it into this. <laughs> The answer can be found in that old saw about fools and money. Glen Frome was an English crime syndicate. What? what? That specialized in abusing Range Rovers, and it pitched the facet as an all-terrain sport coupe, which is a little like <laughs> pitching gangrene as a mild skin irritation. I actually, I, I've come around. I love this writer. <laughs> the facet was sold to rich and presumably myopic jet set types for 55,000 pounds, which is about $245,000 in today's money. But taking one of the most enduring SUV designs and turning it into something that looks like it was drawn by an army obsessed nine year old, <laughs> that's priceless. <laughs> um, I hate it because I don't see how that, that's a two door. That's not an SUV. That is like a little ass sedan that is lifted and the front but it's of it. body on frame. <laughs> yeah. Sure, closer well, that, to a Jeep. Closer to a Jeep. And then the front end is like weirdly pointy. Um, and also, like, I, I do love, I, I can't. I love the history of it, that it was an English crime syndicate that just, like, made their own car. That's fascinating. But they had, like, all Englishmen, bad taste. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I hate it. <laughs> oh, can I go next? Because yes. I'm so excited. I love it. This thing is so cool. <laughs> like, this is so cool. It it it, it looks like a, yeah, it looks like a, um, I don't know, like a, 
a Porsche with a lift kit on it, like a body on frame Porsche coupe with, and it's a hatchback. I love that it's a hatchback. I love how pointy it is. That's so fun with the big tires and the wheel wells are uh, ridiculous. And I, I think it's, it, this would get a lot of, people would be like, what is that? Someone in Portland would drive this. I would not be surprised to mm-hmm. oh, see yeah. someone. Mm-hmm. Dude, you rally up to the ski hill in that thing? <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. It's got the ski rack that. that's like... <laughs> You'd be everybody's friend. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like, where the do you put the guy. ski rack on the door? I love it. <laughs> Not the actual coolest guy, but like the yeah. ironically coolest and guy that day. it has the roof that you yeah. can take out. Where do you put your the roof? T-top. <laughs> the T-top. The T-top. My sister had the uh, a car like that. Um, you, and it like clipped Targa. into the crunch. Dirty in the car? trunk. Crunched into... No. Clipped into the trunk. Nailed it. All right. Yeah, that's all I have to say on that one. Love it. Big fan. I also love this. This looks like a a, a J like a James yeah, Bond a James, a James Bond, Bond knockoff people. movie villain's car <laughs> is what I get from this. Or even like a James Bond knockoff, the James Bond character car. It's so ridiculous. Um and it's totally 80s. Like the front end reminds me of those Lotus Esprits. Yep. So it's got that that very like pointed uh front end, like almost beakish. Um, and this car actually, it kind of looks like a doorstop, like, you know, the, the, the wedges you can just put under the, that's what it reminds me of. And I imagine James Bond having to use the front of this car to stop like some big wall from like closing or something. Uh, but I love it. This is totally eighties and I love the angles on it and it's so stupid and ridiculous. It's got the Um, FJ cruiser windshield, (laughs) but the, the, the price on it, that's just, that's that's insane. Two hundred laundering money. Yeah. That's what it was. That's what it was. But I love it. Nick, what are your thoughts on oh it? i definitely love this it's so dumb it's ugly and stupid and th- that's a really stupid car like i said in the in the wednesday episode um that's my favorite car <laughs> just guess- a real dumb car that shouldn't have been built and I, that's this i mean look it's got a great approach angle <laughs> departure angle you could do some wheeling in this thing <laughs> until it broke down <laughs> and it would break down right away and then you leave it in the woods because it's a range rover it is a range rover so you've, you've yeah, got so about this is, two trips not only on is it ugly it's also unreliable and costs a fortune to fix <laughs> yeah. in case you needed to uh really so sweeten Nick's the deal two hundred and fifty thousand dollars it's gonna cost you about that much more and it's to a money keep it pit. running <laughs> like i feel like i should have known this but i'm like low-key fascinated that you all have this like deep car lore mm. you know where i'm like I sometimes forget reading... where, which side my gas tank is on. <laughs> I've been reading Car and Driver. <laughs> oh, I forget that, too. There's a little arrow. You know, I know. The arrow. Even with the arrow. The like, arrow like... is clutch because I, I still have to think about that. Yeah. Well, when we came back from Montana, like Bjorn's car, the gas tank is on the opposite side, which is where I sat the whole trip. Mm. Um, and then I went to get gas when I got home and I pulled up to the wrong side and this is when we still had gas station attendants and the lady was just sick of my shit immediately. She's like, it's on the other side. And I was like, you're right to be angry at me. <laughs> I don't blame you. Um, no, I, my Subaru had it on mm-hmm. one side. The truck has it on the other side. So yeah. it's, it's like somewhere Thank in my you. brain from time to time, I'll pull up to the pump and I'll just be like, oh, fuck, which side is it on? Thank oh, you. Mine, Thank mine God not. it's got the little arrow. Yeah. <laughs> mine charges on one side and is gas on the other. And that oh, is so you're just Yeah, you're you're all over the map. Sometimes the gas attendants would go up to the thing and be like, open. I'm like, no, it's on. That's like, the electric no, side. There's electricity in there. It'll blow up. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Put the gas there. Paul, Are we ready thought? for the next one? Oh, yes. you loved it. That's all right. Yeah. Here we go. And we're going with Bjorn on this one. Uh, <laughs> Bjorn, if you <laughs> could describe <laughs> what you're looking at. The Suzuki X90. Uh, do I need to read the whole thing? Yeah. All right. What could Suzuki have been thinking? The company had already designed two of the best micro SUVs on the market, the Samurai and the Sidekick, known as the as the Geo Tracker. Oh yeah, uh, which uh, which were as competent as they were cute. And then this, the X90 wasn't cute. It wasn't stylish. It wasn't anything. And it not, an anonymous blob. Uh, with some lights and a basket handle <laughs> handle gifted Graft- grafted on it. What? Oh, uh, with some lights and uh, sorry, I'm reading the same line and now I'm nervous. And oh, good. here we go. Virtually no off-road ability. The X90 was a sport utility vehicle devoted 
uh, devoid of either sport or utility. <laughs> Uh, as a vehicle, the Suzuki X90 was inspired and pointless and totally looked the part. Is this the one that's like fast too? No, definitely mm. not. <laughs> no, this is probably. They would have mentioned that. This probably has a lawnmower okay. engine on it. <laughs> um, yeah. This, this yeah, you looks like go a front. cartoon vehicle. <laughs> like, this is like something you'd see in a cartoon. Yeah, this just goes beep, beep. It has, it has a, um, and it has a wing on the back. Mm -hmm. uh, a spoiler. It's got a little spoiler on the Keep back. Keep you on the ground, you know. Yeah, nice and round. <laughs> it, it, it looks like it's from the movie Cars, honestly. Wait, so do you love it or hate it? Oh, I love it. Oh, <laughs> Big fan. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> Big fan. This thing is so cute, so fun. I would love to get out, get in and out of this thing. Um, put one basket of groceries, apparently, because <laughs> it has no... Yeah, no, this is like the smart car. It's kind of like a smart car. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm a, I think I, smart I like cars it. are bigger. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right. Uh, if it's like the Geo Tracker and the Samurai. Um, but yeah, this thing is... Sweet. I like it. That's it. That's all I got. I love this so much. Although it's obviously in the wrong category and on the wrong list. Uh, this is not an SUV by any means. <laughs> this is what I would probably call a Barbie car. Mm -hmm. uh, this is definitely like this. I would I would paint it pink. Mm -hmm. I would wear my pinkest outfit and go play tennis. I don't know. That's what I would do in this car. Um, I think it's adorable, but uh, like, and I love the samurai and I love the sidekick. Like I love everything that Suzuki was doing in the nineties. Like I'm so sad that they no longer uh, make cars for the U S it's only uh, overseas markets now. Cause Suzuki for me was just a fun brand. Um, and they kind of got me. So this I see and I'm like, hell yeah. Like I would, I would buy this and drive it around in a heartbeat. So I love it. I'm gonna love it too. This Ooh, is okay. it's fantastic. It's so dumb. It looks like a Miata with a lift kit. Yeah, <laughs> and that's awesome. There's why would you ever make that? That's so stupid. I'm glad they did. And, exactly. Every car that's that stupid, I'm glad they made it. Yeah. yeah. Even the, the Aztec. It's a bad car, but I'm glad they made it. Has it has a smaller wheelbase than my motorcycle. That's fantastic. <laughs> like, what was the pitch in the pitch? Oh, if I had one know? of these. I would do the opposite of that, and I would try to, like, I would put, like, whatever size of tires you could fit. <laughs> like, I would crazy. be trimming bodywork, <laughs> lifting. Yeah. yeah, just some, make Some it. fender flares. Yeah, yeah, yeah uh -huh. some fender flares. <laughs> See what kind of engine mods that you could actually yeah. do Yeah. to make this thing, like, fast and badass. Just because I bet what? nobody did, and I, I think one of them deserves to yeah. be badass. Yeah. What was the car that Kanye was driving that's actually, everyone's like, oh my god, that's actually low-key, like, really fast. It's, like, yellow, it looks kind of like this, and it has, like, a ridiculous engine in it. That, I don't and know. And they made it, it was made for, like, one year, it's very hard to get them, but it looks like a Geo Tracker or something. Ooh, Never I don't mind. know about that. You'll have to, we'll have to look at it. Yeah. It could be a Lamborghini LM002, but that's like a big Humvee looking car. No, 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 it's not that. And that's not fast either. Anyway. Okay. Eliza. <laughs> Eliza. Um, I hate it. <laughs> um, first of all, I don't think anything with only two seats should be allowed to call itself an SUV. <laughs> that's the stupidest thing. Second of all, I am not a small person, and I just know if I sat in that thing, it would start scraping the ground. <laughs> 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 fuck that <Me> too. <laughs> i was like yeah i think <laughs> actually pretty much most americans <laughs> yeah most yeah. would not yeah. fit in that car like, sorry yeah. i can't bring the dog because i <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> want to bottom the shocks out <laughs> <laughs> exactly um that's the dumbest thing i've ever seen in my life <laughs> I, it looks like i could push it over like no. <laughs> i know right just a, a gust of wind while you're on the yeah. 405 and you're screwed <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right so let's go to the next one the Subaru B9 Tribeca from 2006 to 2007. I'll go ahead and read this. So the story behind the B9 tri Tribeca's garish grill is as unfortunate as its design. Subaru is attempting to re recall Jap Japan's aviation heritage, apparently not thinking about what such associations might rise in the mind of a typical American buyer. Uh, let's just say it was a big, it was marketing suicide. But even if you can get past the grill, and for the sighted, that's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the zingers. B9 Tribeca is no better. It's a minivan-like snoozer that fails to impart the sense of rugged, go-anywhere adventure 
that SUV styling is supposed to broadcast. Subaru made several clumsy attempts to fix the Tribeca styling before giving up entirely on its big-ish SUV in 2014. Uh, five years later, Subaru tried again and got it right with the Ascent. Um, mm. Oh my gosh, this has the ugliest... Gr- it, like, it looks like fish gills. Like, the front <laughs> looks like... like f- like it gives give me like fishy vibes and i don't know it's really odd um so uh i think i hate it this is a terrible terrible and it broke down all the time like i used to work at a subaru dealership and the number of recalls on this damn mm. car were ridiculous <laughs> you so. didn't this one, this one had the the six cylinder right mm-hmm. the h6 yeah but it, like a shitty version it, it was of a it. horrible engine it was just a horrible horrible what like just stick with outback and mm-hmm. stick with the Forester, and you're good. Oh, those were still real. wagons at that point, though, yeah. right? Yeah, those were yeah, still Yeah, those were still cars. This mm-hmm. was the big, fat... It was It, it was a really... I hate it. <laughs> it was a really bad-looking car. I will say they took that same, like, grill idea and put it in the Impreza in, like, 2006 mm-hmm. and seven, and I thought it worked in the Impreza. Yeah, it looks better there, but in this But one, this ugh. car was just so... It was like a bloated car. <laughs> <laughs> it was like they took a car and just... Pff, pff, why didn't they just call this Inflated the kamikaze it? if they were basing it off like oh my God. Japanese flight? I mean, to be honest. Cause oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I just got the joke. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> cool. You got there. That was pretty quick. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, it Eliza? Was, uh, yeah, it was yeah. a bad car. Um, I love it. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> yes. Who gives a shit about the grill? I wouldn't have even noticed until everybody started talking about the grill. Who cares? <laughs> it's it's fine. You see. You're like, what is my grill on my Subaru? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I probably have never seen it. <laughs> at it. Is it near the gas cap? Because I don't care. Exactly. <laughs> so it's like, amazing. I feel like I've got to stand up for the Subaru. <laughs> also, like the thought of like a car that's been bloated. That's so American. Like the, the Japanese were like just right on trend with that. <laughs> <laughs> they were making fun of us. They're just like, how about a big fat Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. Oh. That's fine. And we deserve it. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. They saw that Super Size Me movie and they're yeah, like, I know exactly. what we can make for That him. car is... Fucking have this. <laughs> this rolling equivalent of McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> I, more. More, please. I, love it. <laughs> I was going to say I love it, too. I love the grill. Love the styling. Oh, so good. Finally, a Subaru with some balls. <laughs> <laughs> the most American Subaru. Yeah. Finally, making thank an you. American. USA. I feel seen. Okay? USA. USA. <laughs> it's a big the car fan. that's too big and breaks down a lot. Yeah. Fuck yeah. yes. Finally, yeah, I American feel seen. Car. <laughs> I feel very seen. Thank you, Subaru Tribeca. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I is keep that the thinking, last one? Okay, this is we might have to cut this, but like I imagine just based on the the airplane um call back on oh, the reason they brought did, mm-hmm. did they call the the white color the Pearl Harbor? <laughs> <laughs> Pearl Harbor. <laughs> We're not cutting that at all. <laughs> I mean, Let's keep it going. I know, okay. You're, right. you're going to be a comic green, you're, call. You're, you got to lean into call, your fucked up call, thoughts. Okay. It's yeah. Now available in Pearl Harbor white. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jesus. <laughs> all, right. Um, all right, Nick, we're back to you. Um, oh, boy. We are at the Hi- Hyundai, the Hyundai Santa, Santa, Santa Fe from 2001 to 2006. That was not a good looking car. Okay, here's our theory on why the first gen Santa Fe is so silly looking. Toy Story 2 was just out, and Hyundai figured if its new SUV looked like it was designed by Fisher Price, mm. it might end up in the next movie. <laughs> Hyundai produced an SUV that did indeed look like something Mr. <laughs> Potato had to drive. <laughs> Too bad Hollywood well, doesn't work to that way. This writer as a guest. <laughs> to be entirely fair to Hyundai, 2001 was a time when lousy car design was South Korea's national pastime. <laughs> wow! The one wow. advantage of, to the Santa Fe's seemingly random arrangement of bumps, bulges, and creases <gasps> was that it worked. Like a patterned rug that hides stains. <laughs> Someone could sideswipe your Santa Fe and no one would ever know. <laughs> oh God. All right. Oh, man. Uh, Todd drives this car. I know he does. He does? I thought they got a new one. No. Mm. Oh. And his, the last time I was in his, the AC didn't work. And so well, if it's for no other reason, I hate years it. Old. No, it's, a, it's not a good looking car. It's really a bad looking car. The newer ones look a little better, but this was like part of the first generation of crossover SUVs, mm-hmm. or uh, it was th- in the, the part Aztec of the beginning of the end. Yeah, yeah. 
really for really fun cars. Yeah. So this is, uh, Hyundai's response to the Aztec was the Santa Fe. Yeah. yeah, like they were really fighting for who could <laughs> make. Like, well, it can't be worse than that. Plastic <laughs> cladding on the bottom half of a car look How worse. How bad could it be? Yeah. <laughs> I, it does look better than the Aztec, but I hate it. It's it's dumb. Yeah, it yeah. looks bad. Um, I'll say I love it oh. because I have sideswipe things and everybody noticed. <laughs> <laughs> so if I could have a car that would like hide that, Not that sounds dope. <laughs> <laughs> the, <laughs> the brown pants of cars. Yeah, everyone's like, what happened to your car? And I'm like, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard yeah. To know. <laughs> so exactly. And it's like, because it's a Subaru and it's like, oh, it's not supposed to look like that, but I could get away with it with that. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> I uh I'm gonna go with I love it too. Big fan. Uh I've driven I've had the uh the pleasure of driving one of these uh mm. Todd's mm. <laughs> one time. How was it? Uh life exactly how you think it's gonna be. <laughs> the steering wheel was yeah slightly turned <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> to go kinda, forward. Yeah, it's like uh, that doesn't need to did line a up. Little dance well no, it's so driving. that the H <laughs> is the H is it's not a, at an angle anymore. The H is straight up because <laughs> the yeah. So it's like are we driving a honda right now <laughs> <laughs> and then you hear it and you're like no, <laughs> no. <laughs> i always thought it's funny it's called the santa fe like why is it named after that's the a rugged city? town it's no, in it's the mountains not. what's it like they're like yeah for going if places. you've never been there if you're like it's there. near mountains suvs go to mountains i like the yeah, idea santa santa that i named a car i do have a, a question though never been. for all of you yeah Based on what you know about this car and the way it looks, what city would you name this car yeah. after? Eugene. <laughs> the, Hyundai, Eugene. the Hyundai Eugene. <laughs> now, yeah. I think the numbers in East Portland. Like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> fucking What's Foster and 130. The Hyundai Foster. <laughs> I'd call it like the Boulder, Colorado. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. What about you? Because that always sounds like a rugged town, and it's just a college town. Yeah. I don't know, like the the Gresham. I don't know. Yeah, like the, Gresham. the Hyundai Gresham. <laughs> That's what I was saying. It hides dents really good. <laughs> yeah. The, yeah. The, the, the Hyundai Dow. Easy to steal. Yeah. Yeah. Easy yeah. to steal. The catalytic converter is just <laughs> pops right off. Yeah, it just it clips on. <laughs> it just clips on. <laughs> so I, I'm going to have to say I hate this, just for the simple fact that this does not remind me of of the city Santa Fe, which mm-hmm. is a beautiful city, mm-hmm. which is a gorgeous city <laughs> with lots of history and lots of culture. Mm-hmm. And this. And none of the artists there had <laughs> took any part in creating no, this. No, none of them <laughs> don't took them. any part in this. So that is just, uh, that's just don't a misappropriation it. of uh, the the city. At least the Tacoma, the Toyota Tacoma. It's yeah, like, that makes sense. cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's that's awesome. It's named after a mountain. I, I love but. I love these cities. Uh, they, they like name these cars after like places that the car companies are not based in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? They just like, like just why threw, did they name they it after threw, a city? They just threw in... darts on a map yeah. of the US. And yeah. Yeah. Well, like, Kia has the Seoul, not that's spelled, not spelled the, same, the way yeah. that Seoul, South Korea, is spelled. But mm-hmm. I, See, I that, would imagine I that I didn't makes think about that. Sense. Yeah. 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 I never thought about that. I've I've always thought, it's like why are they it's not spelled the way they, Seoul South Korea yeah spelled because either. Americans wouldn't weird. have understood yeah Mary would have been the C-O-L-E? yeah or exactly. whatever I don't remember so they how had you to like dumb it down <laughs> USA S E O U L C O yeah yeah people would pronounce that wrong right away <laughs> absolutely so that concludes the ugly SUV edition or love it or hate it yeah um, it looks like we uh, we had some uh, some results the results are in. We're mixed on the Pontiac Aztec, two for two. Um, more people actually like the Glen Frome uh, facet. That was three, <laughs> three for V one. The faucet, <laughs> the faucet. <laughs> um, Suzuku X, uh, Suzuku Suzuki X ninety. We generally loved. So three to one. Uh, the Tribeca. We're split right down the middle. Two loves, two hates, and so were we with the Hyundai Santa Fe. If any of you drive any of these cars, especially the Facet, please send <laughs> yeah. us a picture. Yeah. No, I would like to see that. Just send us your pictures. Uh, join us on Discord. Uh, mm-hmm. We'd love to have a conversation with you, particularly who drives the Facet. How did you? get that car Mm -hmm. um and uh let's talk cars let's have some fun Uh, we're on discord we're streaming on all streaming services so please like subscribe um and thanks for joining us what's our discord called discord 
the love, love hate, hate laugh show. show. Yeah, yeah. And it's a link on our Instagram, so feel feel free to follow us. Uh, that's all I have. Do you guys have anything? No, nope, that's no. it. No. Bye. All right. Bye. bye.